Trail cam dam, what did he see? A beaver, a badger, a fox or a bee? Trail cam dam, what did he see? A beaver, a badger, a fox or a bee? Welcome back to the channel. Somewhere pretty special at the moment. I'm here with JP. I've come to see JP again in Norfolk. And he has just brought me to this shop. Oh man, it's a wildlife man's dream. Clear spy. Now, if you want binoculars or telescopes, scopes, anything like that, this is the place to come. But it's not cheap. It probably is the right price for the products, it's just it is top of the this is like a Rolls Royce of all optics. Now, in there is a scope set up, they've got a beautiful little garden a bit at the back so you can take the things out to uh, test the binoculars and things. Uh, but they've got a scope pointing out of the window on a tripod. Massive thing, beautiful. Thought, oh that's nice, might have a, might get one of them. Had a look through it, the most beautiful crystal clear picture you've ever seen through a scope it even had two eyes it was it was brilliant absolutely brilliant looked at the price tag 450 quid i thought you know as good as it is can i really justify buying that at the moment and then jp taps me on the shoulder and says that's just the tripod the tripod was 450 pounds the scope was three and a half thousand pounds wow so if I need to raise three and a half, well I need the tripod as well though, I need four grand basically. Now I was selling my girlfriend for five grand but special sale on at the moment, four grand, beautiful girl, uh, cooks, cleans, looks after you, talks a bit but uh, that's why I'm knocking a grand off. But you'll have to be quick because I'm only here a few days and I want to get in there and get that scope. It's beautiful. So the plan is had a quick look around there and then I think he's taking me to another similar shop and then we might even be getting a bit of bird watching in we've got those cameras with us well JP's cameras we're using his today look at this buddleia out here with all the butterflies on it looking nice there you go wildlife in the car park that's how good it is here so whilst he's in there, wasting his time, spending money, I'm out here actually filming the wildlife and I've just got a very, very rare moth apparently. You did. What was it, a hummingbird? It's a hummingbird hulk moth. Yep, just saw it right here, right on this buddle here. There's quite a few nice things on here, butterflies, but yeah. I just saw it and I thought, that's unusual, I've never seen anything like that before. It had like yellow bits to its wings as it was flapping. Fantastic. And it was beautiful. A migratory moth from France, apparently. But I believe they have started to overwinter here, or breed, I can't remember. But they do overwinter here, apparently. Yeah, you won't but see it now, it's gone. It's gone, you missed the moment. You were busy cold, buying man. things. Well, I didn't know it were a rare one, did I? So JP's gone into the shop to tell them they've got a very rare moth out here, spotted by me. See if I can find it again, now he's not here. <laughs> okay, so we ditched the other shop idea, it was a bit too far, so we've come straight to, what's it called? Birdy Nerdy Land? Birdy Nerdy Land, this is. This Birdy is Nerdy Land. Clay RSPB Bird Watching Centre. It's beautiful here. Really nice, you're going to like it. I'm loving the sounds already. It's lovely, yeah. really peaceful. And it goes, it's like a, basically a big salt marsh that goes all the way down to Blakeney. We've, you've been there, haven't you? We went, was going to go crabbing with Mazzy. All right. And it goes all the way along, basically right the way up to where we are staying at the moment. Okay. It's this big strip of land goes up here. Are you planning on saying hello to my viewers, hello, viewers at any how point? How are you doing? Yeah, it's nice JP you. if you've never met him is in previous videos uh, it gets my views up it makes them more interesting because he knows what he's talking about and i taught him everything i know and between us we've got guru. 25 years of survival and that kind of 
Yeah. Uh, what, what's bushcraft? Middle? Bushcraft uh, experience. experience. Yeah. So this is something we could see today: a bearded tit. A bearded tit. That's that's what he calls it. What's the real? Tell them the real name. Bearded breedling. Yeah. I've well, got a video on those. Did a whole video on bearded tits on my channel. Well, they've got like a Mexican uh, moustache. Beautiful. This is a male. So the male's got this like lovely buffy, reed colour orange back and belly, and this grey head with a Mexican moustache. And the female's more dull and not as good looking as the men. Okay. And that looks like a hawk area to me. Marsh area. A marsh area. That's, the one. That's what I meant. Damn. I'm trying to be clever. Uh, that's a pullover. That is a pullover. What is it? Ringneck plover. Ringneck plover. 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 Anyway, let's go see the real thing. Oh, binoculars and telescopes. Placed by, oh, just been there. Been <laughs> one of them. So here is the marsh. I'm hearing loads of birds up here. There is some nesting boxes up here. Yeah, we're going to go down and get some bird watching in now. Had a good look round. Some wonderful pictures in there. Photos. He keep, keeps going on about me hummingbird something moth. That's twice I've seen something rare in the last two outings I've been with him but not got too excited. I think you're more excited if you go out looking for a certain breed of something and you see it, rather than just coming across something and not knowing what it was and someone telling you it's rare, do you know what I mean? Anyway, let's go find something rare. So just here is like a, a seating area there. Loads of boards up here. You see all the marshes in the background and all these guys are about to draw it basically. They've got little square like frames and a professional artist kind of guy is telling them what to look for, what to do and then they're going to draw these paintings and I bet they're rubbish, I bet they're rubbish every should, one of them we should have a go, I bet we're good yeah, yeah my first birds today house sparrows we can do better than that surely we can uh, while we're going around by the way if there's anything you need to know about any kind of plants in particular or anything, just let me know, won't you? I'll ask you. And I'll tell you all about them. Thanks. Well, these have gone to seed now. They're normally like white flowers, lovely white flowers. Um, but they've all gone to seed, falling off now. Well done. Would you like to tell them the name of it? It's hogweed, isn't it? It's a hogweed. You told me it was. Right. Is this, this isn't Bishop's Hyde, though, is it? Over here, oh, that's over here. This is just like a pond a bit where you might get dragonflies and stuff, but there's absolute jack here. This is a little pond dipping platform. They bring kids and that over to dip and find stuff in the pond, like dragonfly larvae and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, it'd be good if you had a magnifying uh, microscope, wouldn't it? It would be good if you had a microscope. Um, got one. Yeah, that's rubbish. Can't seen jack yet. Just a sparrow. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye. 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 That was Bishop's Hyde. It's nice. It really is nice. I don't know what the birds are, but you know, you can tell, can't you? You know what a seagull looks like. You know what a duck looks like. If it looks slightly unusual, just take loads of pictures and then ask the questions later. And I've got some really nice pictures there. What was that? Yeah, I've got a nice picture. What was that here. thing flying up close? That was a marsh. What the? A marsh big, harrier? That was a marsh harrier. Oh, yeah. right. Really nice. Shot got some nice there. shots of that. Yeah. And in there, there was a volunteer guide. If there's anyone in the world who should be, he probably is, called Nigel. It's probably him. He was a proper birder, he was. Proper. He knew his stuff. Lovely man, him. lovely man. But he was very, very helpful. Really. Very helpful. Yeah.
Well, surprisingly, not expecting it at all, but one of the highlights of the day was actually the swallows nesting inside the hides. The amazing hides which actually are thatched. You don't see that every day. I'm guessing you've got some really good pictures of the swallows. I've got some good photographs. Because I was in automatic, so yeah. my light wasn't very good. I'll have to have a look. <clears throat> That's, you can never see too many of that close-up action. I was coming in above her heads when, when I feeding their fledglings. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful, really lovely. Birds. And one of the nests had three of them just stood next to each yeah. other, like pushing each other so that they got the comfiest. It was very, very cute. My highlight, Apart from that was the Harrier, what was it? Marsh Harrier. Marsh Harrier. Marsh Harrier. Got loads of pictures of that. Yeah. Don't know if any of them are going to be amazing, but I think they are. Did we see anything else special today? Uh, we see some rough. Rough. Which are the, you know that one you said looked like Elvis. Oh yeah. But they was out there, but juveniles and female. I've probably got a picture of that somewhere. Have you got a picture of that? Green shank? Yeah, I don't um, know if I got that. Little stint. Yeah, loads of them, yeah. Ring neck plover. Oh yeah. Loads That's of rings on them and shank. Stuff. Red shanks, purple yeah. shank. Loads of shanks, weren't there? Oh, it was shanked out. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I said before, I don't know what I'm taking pictures of, but I'll go back, pick me good ones out, tiny bit of editing, and then I'll ask him what they were. Yeah. That's well, how you I'm learn. No, I'm now... Uh, no means an absolute expert birdie nerdy, but I know quite a bit and uh, just enjoy, the, enjoy it. I enjoy it, that's the main thing. It doesn't matter if you don't know what you're looking at. Just enjoy being out in nature and watching the birds fly about, it's nice. With me. With Dan. Now I do have to say this on my channel, I know JP's done it for his channel. But you know me, I'm not the kind of person who can bite my tongue. Proper ass in there. <laughs> A proper ass. Comes in, it's all snooty. Are there any uh, real bird watchers, proper bird watchers yeah, in here? Real... Or are you just the camera club? JP says uh, he can be a bird watcher as well, you know. Light touch paper and stand well back when you say things like that in front of me, mate. So he says, mm -hmm. and then he said to JP, oh, "What's that over there? Is it a so and so or a so and so?" He says, "It's a so and so." Oh right, I'm sorry for being a bit uh, um, uh, earlier on. Snobby git. <laughs> I don't hold back, mate. You do get. Them. I didn't hear it. I didn't hear, hear any it. of this. Yeah. But he told me when we came out. But what a tit. Look what we've got. A little brown bag, a little present from JP. There you go, mate. What a nice person. What have we got? Let's find out together. Oh, British birds, a pocket guide. If you're going to be a bird, you've got to have a birdie nerdy book. With a goldfinch on it. Thank you very much. Oh, it's actually my own. Oh, it's a good one, isn't it? Yeah, they, they, this series of nature uh, identification books are absolutely brilliant. I've got them all now, but they're really good. Yeah, as long as there's lots of pictures in them, I like them. Harriers, right, what did we say? Marsh Harrier, was Marsh it? Marsh Harrier, yeah. Uh, Marsh Harrier. Marsh Harrier, it must be on there somewhere. Oh, you got here? No, it's not. Harriers. We're on Harriers. It'll be in here. Yeah, now we're into hawks. hawks. It says Marsh Harrier there, yeah, but we're there in the we picture go. of it. There we go. There. Oh, is that a picture of it? Yeah. So I've got a better picture than that today. I will show you it in this video at some point. Beautiful, thank you very much. You're welcome, mate. I really like that. No problems. Drill cam dam, what did he see? A beaver, a badger, a fox or a bee. Drill cam dam, what did he see? A beaver, a badger, a fox or a bee.